kind of like this music. It's... I don't know, it's not like especially standout, but... It has a nice beat to it. Boom! Boom, 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 boom! Alright, so... Well, I thought you were supposed to use the B trick, but I guess what you're supposed to do is jump down at him. Not jump down at him, jump up at him. Sweet. Sweet, taste, tasteful... Tasteful is not the right word. Tasty, sumptuous bug. Voluptuous legs. <laughs> Alright, come back down. Come back down here with your jelly legs. Which, as someone on Twitter said, jelly legs would be a great name for a squid. Okay, where'd you go? I felt so sure that there was more to this fight. You know what this also reminds me of? Is, uh... The Chaos 4 fight in Sonic Adventure. The one with the lily pads. Oh, you were... You were lightning-y. Lightning-y! Oh, we gotta do that again! Alright, here's the part that I was thinking of. In addition to being kind of like the Chaos 4 battle, this is also like that Wiggler fight in Super Mario Sunshine, where you have to crawl on the, wigger, the Wiggler's belly. The huge Wiggler in Gelato Beach. Which just kind of starts rampaging everywhere after falling apart from the little sunbeam on the top of the tower. It physically falls apart, and then apparently gets mad and puts itself back together again. But that's neither here nor there. Except it actually is there, it's just not here. That's a phrase that I don't completely understand, because if it's not here or there, then where is it supposed to be? I guess it's supposed to be nowhere? But then every time you use that phrase, it's always in reference to something that is somewhere. If that made any sense at all, I don't know. Stupid water drop! At least it's the last time we're gonna see it. And we got a glowing... I was gonna say koosh ball, but that's not what that is. I don't know what kind of orb that would be. This game has never lagged this much for me, I don't understand. Not that it's lagging too bad, it's just a little... A little frame droppy. I just... I don't know how he's talking with that thing in his mouth. Oh, hero chosen by the gods. The dark power that you seek. Am I... am I seeking a dark power? I didn't think I was... Oh, I guess... I guess the fused shadow is kind of a dark power, isn't it? You must know that it was the will of the goddesses that we lock away the forbidden power. Creepy cutscene time! Hooray! Everyone loves this cutscene. When all was chaos, the goddesses descended and gave order and life to the world. Pretty colors. Why am I floating? They granted power equally to all who dwelt in the light, and then returned to the heavens. The lands where the goddesses descended came to be known as the Sacred Realm. The lands, plural, became known to be the Sacred Realm, singular. For ages, the people lived at ease, content in mind and body. They're so happy, so pleasantly happy, but soon word of the Sacred Realm spread through Hyrule and a great battle ensued. Curvy knife, suddenly no pupils, because that's what happens whenever you're evil, is you suddenly lose your pupils. Happens to the best of us. And I guess it's implied that she got killed by Link, or whoever this demonic possessed thing is. And the Triforce, like that one scene in Monty Python, just keeps getting further and further away no matter how fast he runs. 
interlopers who were ex excelled at magic, wielding powerful sorcery. They tried to establish... Who are these people? I'm not really sure. Like, we can see this is Dark Link, but... Like, various Dark Links. I don't completely understand who they're supposed to represent, though. And then here's my favorite face in the game in a moment. Oh, it's not there yet. It was then that the goddesses ordered us three light spirits to intervene. We sealed away the great magic these individuals had mastered. Are we at the face yet? We've got to be at the face. Here it is. <laughs> I don't know why, but that face is really funny to me, accompanied with the scream. Just... I know it's supposed to be really freaky, but I just... it's laughable to me. It is the dark power you seek, the fused shadow. Link is so high right now. O oh, hero chosen by the goddesses, beware. Beware, beware. Be very wary, bear. The half lumps and woozles, so very confusals. I don't fully understand the point of this scene. Like, it's it's supposed to be creepy, but why is it supposed to be creepy? They just kind of threw in a lot of imagery, and I don't even know if all of it is supposed to be symbolic. The dark power that you seek is within the sleeping lake bed temple in Lake Hylia. It is the sleeping lake bed. It is not a place where people sleep. The bed itself is asleep. Alrighty then. After this, I don't know where to go. Because that's all I really had planned for this recording session. I guess I'll keep going, though, because I'm still alert. The last time I attempted to record this... I got all the way to Lake Bed Temple, and I felt like a complete failure because I got to one of the first rooms and then had no idea where to go next. I just got entirely stuck. Even though the last time I played this game before the LP, uh, I had no trouble with Lake Bed Temple. It was kind of like a straight line to me. But for whatever reason, just got utterly lost in a single room. I can't imagine what it would be like to patrol the bottom of a lake. Like, understandably the Zoras are fish people and it makes sense for them, but that seems like it would be kind of unpleasant. Then again, if you're a fish person, or if you're just like a human being who can breathe underwater, then maybe it wouldn't be so bad, I don't know. they dried up with the lake. Well, if there's water, then I'm pretty sure the Zoras are going to stick with the water. <laughs> They're not just going to stay on the dried land. Uh, should I give it a shot? He it says it's 10 rupees. You know what, I think I have to, because there's no way to leave this lake without um, teleporting. And I'm not a wolf right now, so I can't teleport, so... That is the strangest instrument, whatever he's playing. It's like a music box calliope, uh, like trombone. I don't know what to, it, like the pegs at the end kind of look like the things that you push down on a trombone. I don't know what those are called because. Well, not a trombone, a trumpet. And probably also other instruments, like maybe a tuba. Trombone's different, though. I played a trombone for a while, it doesn't have any of those little things that you push down. It just has the big slide that extends and shrinks, and that's why everyone calls it the tromboner. And everyone who plays trombone is a tromboner. It is so incredibly mature. But hey, it's, it's still funny. 
So where to next? I hope that we get another visit from our uh, friendly neighborhood mailman, wherever he is today. He is everywhere and nowhere at the same time, because he's the mailman. And he just has teleporting abilities that surpass those of Wolf Link with Midna. Where am I supposed to go next? Okay, I guess I'll talk to Midna. To get your hands in the last, you'll have to... Show why don't you save the Prince of Zora's as Queen Protectors Lake? Oh, should I... No, I feel like I should go to Hyrule Castle Town, because that's that's where uh, Prince Rallus is, as far as I know. He's uh, there without any medicine to help him. What I should have done is got a horse, not just any horse, but a Pona. I didn't think to... Okay, I'm gonna stop right there for a moment, because I just saw Hyrule Castle in the distance, and my first thought was, that's a rocket. What is a rocket doing in this game? Because uh, I just re recently went on a road trip, and on the way back from that road trip in the car, I saw this big uh, rocket on the road just... Well, that, that sounds a little bit stranger than it was supposed to be, but there was a rocket held up by wires, I guess, like, as a NASA showcase or something. And that is exactly what the castle looked like just now to me. So it was just really bizarre. I mean, there are rockets in Zelda games. Just take a look at that one random room where there's the rocket that goes to the room. Uh, Ghost of the Room, Ghost of the Moon, and all those sketched papers in the Majora's Mask, like, bomb shop. And then also, the, uh, the Stones of Truth, whatever they, they're called, except they're, they can't be stones, because they're so jelly-like whenever you slash them with a sword, but... There you are, Epona! And I can't do anything with you anymore, because I have to go into the castle and you can't come with me. You're just like Yoshi. And here is the friendly neighborhood mailman. Best superhero. Da, 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 da. I think whenever he makes that noise, it's actually supposed to be one of the fanfares jingles in the game. What would that be? Da, 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 da. Maybe not. But I also know that his other... Uh, thing that he does is do 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 do. That one's the do 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 that you hear in dungeons. Just a little bit stranger because he's not the best at singing. Nor am I, but I think I'm a little bit more on key than the mailman is, and I can keep a little bit more of a beat. I am no smooth McGroove. Hmm. And here we are in the town of wandering people who have nowhere to go. They're in a hurry to go absolutely nowhere. Hello, dog. Dog! Dog! I'm gonna kidnap you. Or dog-nap you. But unlike Ocarina of Time, it doesn't seem like the dogs follow you through tr uh, screen transitions, so that's unfortunate. Um... Yeah, this isn't... I don't think this is our first time being in Hyrule Castle Town as Human Link. I just can't remember at this point. This is not a game that I know like the back of my hand. Not that I know the back of my hand very well. Like, they're... I don't know what these wrinkles are. That's just a phrase that a lot of people use. Like, how well do you really know the back of your hand? Hello, person whose eyes are on their glasses. Doctor, wait! Nope, he's gone. Better call Dr. Mario. So you can shove pills in your throat, and then you'll feel perfectly fine after that. Just, I don't know. This is assuming all universes in Nintendo games are canonically the same universe. After all, in Link's Awakening, there are plenty of Mario references. There's a Yoshi doll in that game, there's a character who looks like Luigi, and a character who looks like Mario, and... Oh. 
This this tangent has gone on too long. A shaman in Kakarika Village. Yeah, we've met him. Inadvisable, too dangerous. But we can't turn a blind eye to a pretty girl in need, either. Yes, we'd better escort you, am I right, boys? So pumped! Yeah! We're gonna escort you to a village! Yeah! Well, isn't that nice? To reach Kakariko, we've gotta cross two dangerous beasts. Wait a minute, uh... Pfft. It's only the fat, stubby guy who's left. Oh, wait. Looks like we've got one more young swordsman left. As if the other ones were young swordsmen. They kind of seemed like they were older than that. Timed underwater escort mission. Yeah, people don't seem to like escort missions in games. At least not until The Last of Us. And then that game was one big escort mission, but it was okay because the escort didn't die. Just randomly. She found this poor boy collapsed in the road, so she did all she could to save him. Yeah, there's Prince Rallis. I remember him from the last time that I played this game 11 billion years ago. And if it hasn't been made clear, Ilya has amnesia. Which... kind of sucks. Yeah, I kind of like this shot here. Or this camera pan, whatever this is. Like, here, here's, uh... Okay, we're not there yet, but we have Link, and we have Telma and Ilya. We gotta cross the bridge with Ozo Bay. Descendant of Shrek, as I said before. Do you see what that means? I don't see what that means. You'll have to deal with that thing. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. And then all of a sudden they're over there. And then we pan around a rock. And all of a sudden we're over here. Just in one fell swoop of the camera, we teleport in a different location. I think it's kind of cool, though. Link? I will never in all my life forget your kindness, Link. Except you kind of forgot already. <laughs> That's not funny. That's terrible. So dazed and confused. Feral beast. Yeah, all of you are saying... Just... <laughs> don't you wink at me. All of you are saying perfectly scripted things. But it's okay. It's okay that this game is a little bit cheesy.